Hi, my name is James Emerling. I'm a science education consultant at Oakland Schools in Michigan and a field test facilitator uh, for Open Sciad. And uh, this is unit 8.6. And I've been creating some remote tools that uh, may make it a little bit easier to teach um, uh, in this time period. Uh, but some of these tools you might even find easier uh, or better to use even uh, in face to face. And so in this case here, we're taking a look at stickers of modern penguins and Pedro. And um, <clears throat> you'll see, uh, so I give you some instructions on how you might do this, but following the data sorts, uh, kids will come here then and organize the pictures of the penguins so that they have a record of how they decided to organize uh, those data sets. And so to do that, um, they can take these stickers then of the penguins and move them around in different ways. And so I might think that this penguin belongs in this grouping. Maybe I think that this one belongs in, you know, um, this grouping. Or it may be that I don't think that this belongs in a group at all and I can, I can go ahead and reorganize these squares. Okay, and so I'm just demonstrating how kids might um, move these groupings around. And then um, they've also got these uh, uh, template areas here where they can, uh, or text boxes, excuse me, where they can add in information as to why they decided to organize them the way that they did. Um, and so this might be an example of the first penguin um, groupings uh, where kids were looking at patterns and external heritable traits across all the modern penguins in Pedro. Um, and so this could be an example of that. And uh, if kids have their own slide deck like this, they could do this and, and keep it there. And they can also share it with their group. And in order to do that as a teacher, you would just create a shared um, um, slide set uh, in Google, Google Slides. And then kids could very easily copy their slides according to these instructions, copy their slide and paste it into that shared slide set. And then they can talk about it. You can put them in breakout groups and they can discuss why they organized them the way that they did. And then following that, later on in the lesson, uh, they'll look at both internal and external heritable traits and reorganize then those stickers. And so this would be an example of that. Instructions for how to do all these things are given to you in the uh, slide notes. So hopefully this helps. Let me know so that, uh, and, and I'll continue to develop these tools if you find them useful. 